kind of miss that militancy. Where is it today? <laughs> it's still there. Uh, it's waiting to be tapped and channeled. You know, Pittston was sort of a little bit in front of its time. It was a very, very profitable company that wanted to make more money by welching on promises that it had made to its workers. So it said, we're going to take away health care from your retirees. And they thought that the act of workers wouldn't support or go on strike to, to protect that health care. Well, they were grossly wrong. We went on strike. Uh, ended up, it was a 15-month strike. Not a single mine worker crossed the picket line. Uh, communities came out uh, on our behalf. We had three schools that went on strike uh, to, to support their families, and the, the principal was a real mean guy. Uh, he made them write a, an essay when they went back saying why the mine workers should win the strike. Well, the mine workers drew the line at Pittston, and here's what we told them. And here's what I say today after being fined an additional $33.8 million. You take the damn treasury, but you won't take us, and you won't break our strike. We won't retreat. We won't quit until we win at Pittston. I think we, we still got the problem that, that created this strike. Uh, even if we get a contract tomorrow morning, to, what created this strike is the belief by Pittston that, that they had all the power on their side, and that's the judges and the politicians and the system itself. So what we should do is say we don't want this to happen again to working class people, and we should stay together, band together, as we have been throughout this strike, and work towards changing some of these laws that adversely affect workers, make things better for working class people, so maybe the next time people go on strike, they don't have to deal with this situation. We're standing alone until the people, really until the people come in to help us, to stand with us. And so, it, I think by the people standing together, we can show these big corporations that we can win. So we had tremendous community support, and we, we organized in the community because what we said is, if they can take our health care, they can take yours. And quite frankly, that's proven to be true. We saved health care in the industry uh, for, for a lot of my members, about 150 or 60,000 members. But they've been coming after individual groups, taking health care away so they can make more money. Mm. Uh, and so that's what it was all about. Uh, we stopped it, uh, and it was, uh, was a fun, fun time. Thank you.